the very talented Hal Hartley is back with a new film to liven up the jaded palette of even the most hardened of filmgoers. A slight diversification into the action genre does nothing to detract from amateur, a movie focusing on a group of individuals locked together in a vicious circle of violence, obsession and desire. Starring Hartley regulars Martin Donovan and Alina Lowenson, along with the fabulous Isabel Huppert, the movie tells the story of Isabel, an ex-nun whose fateful meeting with amnesia victim Thomas sets in motion a devastating chain of events. En route, they discover Love and Thomas's ex-wife Sophia, a hardcore porn star who's out for revenge. He conveniently can't remember a thing and has no idea who he is, let alone who she is. Do you know your name? No. Keep still. Frank, he doesn't know his name. Are you hungry? Yes. A sandwich, please. Hey, look, Frank. She's got money. Hal, first of all, here we have a Hal Hartley action movie. Have you finally sort of thrown in the towel and gone for at night commerciality? No, not at all. I, I think this is a difficult film. <laughs> I think this is, like, dare I say it, the least accessible of my movies. I'm always really surprised that it, it's gotten this response because it does seem to be more accessible. People. <laughs> There are two uh, fantastic female roles in the film, and, and in a way, they're really the, the sort of main focus, and, and they're going through these very complex emotions because they're changing, and, and in a way, they're sort of seeking redemption. And, and they seem so much more um, interesting, in a way, than, than, Martin, than, than Thomas, because his is just force of circumstance. You know? mm -hmm. Why do you think he writes so, so well for women? Well, women are mysterious and interesting for me. Whereas Thomas isn't, really. Yeah, he's a guy. I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, we, we set out to do a peculiar thing with this film, and, uh, and I'm happy we did. What happens is that Martin's character, Thomas, is formed. His character, his personality, is actually formed moment by moment in the course of the film. We witness it a little bit more than Isabel witnesses it because we're allowed to be with him when she's not. So Martin's character, Thomas, really doesn't reach full-blown characterhood like Isabel and Elena until they're at that country house, until the dynamics of his relationship to both women you know, reach a certain level where his existence is a threat basically, to their existence. And I was interested in defining his character by paying attention to what the women thought of him and how they reacted to him. Were you always religious? No. When I was a girl, I wasted a lot of time writing bad poetry about being lonely and too fat. You were fat, huh? Not so fat, but I was ugly. Well, anyway. It was around that time that the Virgin Mary began appearing to me. Pardon me? It's true. She appeared to me three times in one year. Now, what'd she say? She said I should not become a nun. Why? Because I'm an infomaniac. Do you think it's um, amoral in a sense that it doesn't, it doesn't make a judgment on, on, on any of its, of its sort of leading characters? Yeah, I would agree with that. It's not interested in judging these people are bad or good. It's more interested in uh, trying to figure out what it is we, we mean when we, we say someone must pay for this. Someone must pay for this crime. And also about memory. If, uh, what makes up our character? What makes up our personality? Uh, if you subtract memory from our personality, uh, what are you left with? I'm, be I'm be beginning to think that maybe memory is just an enormous amount of our character. Enormous burden as well. Mm -hmm. Well, the burden is the personality. The burden is the thing. You resent your position as a woman in the motion picture industry? Sorry, I find you very attractive, and I'm interested in commodities. 
What are you talking about? A commodity is an article of trade, a product in the purest sense. What has this got to do with me? You're a product. I am? You're a commodity. Tom has tendered your body in exchange for money. So I'm an article of trade? Yes. A useful thing in terms of classic capitalism. I studied economics. I know what I'm talking about. Are you surprised that, that, that your movies appear to um, go down much better over here than they do in your home country? Or are you very much embraced as almost yeah. as a European filmmaker? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not surprised by that. I think there's more room for uh, very individual approaches to filmmaking in Europe, more than in the United States, uh, where in its best form, people really, really do value the homogeneity of big movies. Mm. You know, they appeal to everybody. And there's no individuality in it, really. Um, they really like that. And uh, as a result, as, yeah, as a result, there's just not that much room for um, work that's more idiosyncratic. Will you make love to me? When? When you finish your bath. Why me? Why not you? Well, you don't know me. You don't even know my name. We don't know your name either. Have you ever had sex? No. How can you be an nymphomaniac and never had sex? I'm choosing. 